Alright guys, so we're going to get going with some vocals. First, I just want to say I'm not going to go through every single vocal track in this song. There's more than usual in this song because the vocals are recorded on a lot of different days. And when that happens, you have to match each track EQ-wise to get them to sound similar. So a lot of the plugins on all my vocal tracks will be similar. It's just the EQ might be a tiny bit different. But I'll go through a ton of tracks um, and show you what I did on main vocals, backup tracks, uh, harmonies, that kind of thing. First, I'm just going to play you guys a clip from one of the verses so you can hear what the vocals sound like in the mix. Standing there but strong. So I'm going to bypass all my sends and all my plugins except for the pitch correction let you hear what that sounds like. If you guys want to see me go over any pitch correction or anything like that, I'd be happy to do a video on it. Andy didn't actually need that much uh, tuning up. He's a pretty good singer, but this is what it sounds like. Standing her but strong You're dragging me along my patience wearing thin And I won't wait at all Can you teach me how to feel this rhythm now? Alright, so my vocal chains, as you can tell, are usually pretty crazy. I got a lot of plugins on here, a lot of effects sends. Vocals are the most important part of a song by far, I believe that. So I put in a lot of work on them. The first thing I usually do is add some kind of EQ to filter out some of the frequencies that I don't want. So I usually start with high passing my vocals up to about 100 hertz. On a girl's voice, uh, it's usually a little higher but on a guy's usually about 100. So I'll just have you listen to what's below that so you can hear the frequencies we're rolling off. Stand in. So it's just some subby frequencies that aren't gonna help out the mix, uh, aren't gonna make the vocal sound better. The next move I made was a cut around 150. So usually if my vocals are a little muddy, I'll cut somewhere in between 100 and 200. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just boost this up for you and then bring it down and just listen to how the vocals become more clear. Stand in her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin And I won't wait at all So it just kind of loses some of that low end. The vocal becomes more clear. The next move I made was a cut around 300. And I'll have you listen to this one. Just hear how there's a nasty kind of muffly frequency that sticks out sometimes. Just some information I didn't think the vocals needed. And then the next move I made was a small cut, a narrow cut around 4K. And sometimes vocals can get harsh. There's a harshness to some singers' voices around 4K. So I'll, I'll see if you can hear this. I'll boost this frequency up. Stand in her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin, and I won't wait at all. And I remember with the mix, that frequency was really popping out, uh, popping out at me. Next move I made was a shelf at 8K, but I took some out, and this was recorded with a condenser mic, and it's a very bright sounding condenser mic. Usually if I'm recording with a dynamic mic, Maybe I'll boost some around AK or higher, but I felt like this vocal was 
still too bright so i did take some 8k out and i'll boost this for you so you can hear hear these frequencies standing hurt but strong you're dragging me along my patience wearing thin and that might sound really good uh, on its own but in the mix you could just tell it was too bright i needed to take it down a tad so I'll play a before and after with this plugin. It's a subtle difference. Like I said, I, I add an EQ first just to take out some not pleasing frequencies. So I'll play with and without, and you can hear it starting to get a little more clear. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And I won't wait it. You can definitely hear that low end start to get cleaned up. All right, and the next plugin I have on here is the SSL channel. And this is subtle as well. All I did was a small boost, about a little over a dB uh, at 7K. And I'll just play you with and without. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And you can barely hear that, but I'll boost it up for you so you can hear the frequency that we're boosting. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. So sometimes I like to do a 7K boost. Uh, usually it's followed uh, by a 8K shelf, but like I said, the mic was really bright, so we didn't we didn't need too much of the top end. Next, I added some compression with the CLA-76, and I have a medium attack, pretty fast release. I like to put fast releases on my vocals because it really brings the vocals to the forefront, makes them more powerful. And don't be afraid to really compress your vocals. You don't want words sticking out. It's just going to make it easier later when you have to do automation. So just look how much we're really compressing this and bringing up the quieter words he's saying while bringing down some of the peaks of the louder words. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. And this compression's working great because in the mix you can hear every word he's saying. You're not struggling or straining to try to make out his words. It really brings all his notes down to almost the same level and volume. I'll show you again. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. So my goal here is really to flatten the signal. So it makes my job easier later on when I do have to automate some words. It's not like I'm going to every sentence and making a change later on. Next, I like to add another compressor just to tame down those peaks even more. I use the virtual mix rack and I use this FG401 in this case. So you can see this is just touching the very, very loudest notes he's saying. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. So it's just kind of kissing it. And like I said, it's going to make my job a lot easier in the end when I do have to automate volume on his vocals. Next, I usually like to go to my de because after we add all this compression and EQ, the S's kind of get brought out, made more harsh. So this is just a preset on this de -esser. And this is the DS are included in the Slate Everything bundle. It's just a preset male singing, so I'll show you what it's doing. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. So this DSer is kind of cool because you can actually listen to 
the sibilance that you're compressing. So here, I'll just show you sibilance. Listen. So it's kind of a cool feature. Uh, you can also listen without the sibilance and it sounds kind of funny actually. Standing her but strong. <laughs> show you that again. Standing her but strong. I think that's really funny. Kind of sounds like Andy's got a speech impediment. So next thing I go to is multiband compressor, which I think, am I using both bands? Nope. So I'm not actually using this top band here, so uh, I can get rid of this. But this band, I usually put a band between like 80 and 300 and compress the lower end of his voice so it's not muddying up the mix or taking over too much. So I'll solo this band for you, show you what it's doing. Me along, my patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. It's kind of like what we did with the bass, keeping that low end in check. Also like the bass, I like to add this L2 limiter just to lower the volume of the very peak notes, the loudest notes he's saying. So I'll show you, we're just getting a couple dBs of gain reduction here, nothing crazy. Standing her but strong, you're dragging me along. Just keeping these vocals very controlled. And lastly, what I like to do is add the virtual tape machine from Slate. And I really like this setting on vocals. It adds some saturation and excitement to the high end. It's subtle, but you should be able to hear it. I like this setting. It's on 30 Ips, the FG9, and the 2-inch uh, tape machine. So I'll start with a bypass and bring it in and just listen to the very high end and how the vocal becomes more powerful and almost excited. Standing her but strong, you're dragging me along, my patience wearing thin, and I won't wait at all. Can you teach me how to feel this rhythm? Really like that on the vocals. Usually end up adding it uh, if it needs some more excitement. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to some of the effects sends I have on his vocal track. So I have this Vox Thick preset that I made. And what this is doing is it's just adding some low end and high end to the vocal track. So basically it's a copy of this verse Vox sent to this bus and then I'm putting some EQ and some saturation on it. So I'll just show you what it sounds like. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin. So it's very warm and also very bright. And I'll show you what I did here. So I have the virtual mix rack on it. And I have this saturation plug-in, the FG73. Uh, and this is just some virtual drive, some saturation. And then I have an EQ where I am boosting the very top end at 15K. I'm taking out that harsh area in the vocals at 4K. And then I'm adding some 200, which is the low end of his voice. And then to brighten it up even more, I'm adding this Revival plugin, and it has a shimmer setting, which is just high and uh, harmonic distortion. So I will play this again, and I'll, I'll turn this on and off so you can hear what it's doing. Standing her but strong, you're dragging me along, my patience wearing thin. And I won't wait at all. So I think this just makes his vocal, or his original vocal, sound a little more warm, a little bit more thick. That's why it's called Vox Thick. So I'll just play the vocal and bring this uh, bus in and out. 
Standing hurt but strong You're dragging me along My patience wearing thin And I won't wait at all See how it just warms up the original track? It's blended in, it's not over the top, but it's giving it some bottom as well as some high-end sibilance. Next, I have my reverb send, and I'll just show you what that sounds like on its own. So on this, I'm just using this Lustrous Plates Reverb, which comes with the Slate Everything Bundle. I've been using it a lot lately, and this is actually a preset for piano, but I thought it sounded good on the vocals. And then I have some EQ, and I'm just rolling off the top end of the EQ to about 6K, so I'll show you what I'm filtering out. Like I said before, this just makes the reverb sound further away or like it was recorded in a big room or something. So I will play you the vocal with the reverb off and I'll bring it back in. Standing her but strong You're dragging me along My patience wearing thin And I won't wait at all Let's add in some nice space to the song overall. I'll play it with the song. First start with a bypass. Standing her but strong. So I really like how that's sounding. The next send I have is a delay. So I usually don't put delays on my verse vocals, but I decided to in this song because I thought the song sounded spacey. It sounded cool with it. So I'll just show you what the delay sounds like. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. So it doesn't have too many repeats on it. So it doesn't stick out in the mix that much. Uh, so I just use repeater on it and I just have it at a quarter note delay. So I'll play the vocal and I'll start with the delay bypass and I'll bring it in. Standing her but strong. You're dragging me along. My patience wearing thin, and I won't wait at all. So it's very subtle, but I didn't want it to stick out in the mix. The next send I have is another delay. So I wanted this part when he starts singing this part. I'll show you here. Oh, can you teach me how to feel? I wanted there to be more delay on that. So what I did is I added a second delay. And this, again, is just repeater. It's not the vintage delay. It's a little bit different sounding delay. I'll play it for you. Can you teach me how to feel this rhythm now? And it really echoes, it really has a long tail on it. So what I did is I created this bus down here called Vox Delay. Make this smaller for you. And what I did is I have it all the way turned down until it gets to that singing part. And then it falls off again after and I turn it all the way down. So I'll play this for you so you can hear the... Uh, how the extra delay gets added. And I won't wait at all. Can you teach me how to feel this rhythm now? Can you teach me how to live? So I'll just play it with the song so you can hear how this part's almost emphasized by the extra delay.
right guys, so I'm done talking about this vocal track, but I just wanted to show you something that you have to do if you're compressing this much on your vocals. So when you compress, it brings the singing parts down. It makes them quieter, but these little breaths that are quiet to begin with get louder. So you actually have to go after and automate all these breaths down. So you see every spot there's a breath. And I do this on all my vocal tracks. It's kind of a pain, but it's what you got to do to get awesome sounding vocals. So I'll just pull this one up and have you listen to how loud this breath is in comparison to the vocal track. Oh, you're dragging me, but strong. You're dragging me. So it's pretty loud, so in the mix you're going to hear that. So what I do is I just go in and I turn them down so they sound like this. Oh, you're dragging me along. So I learned that trick from another engineer. Uh, you just use a lot of compression to get the vocals in the forefront, make them super powerful, and then you just go back afterwards with automation and turn down the breath so they're not popping out at you. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to download your free Ultimate Home Studio Mix Guide. I made this for you guys so you could start getting your mixes sounding better. There's a lot of great information in there. And be sure to reach out if you have any questions or if you need any help with your mixes. Thanks.